Several Iowa sheriffs are now publicly supporting a proposed gun rights amendment to the state constitution. It's a measure Iowans will vote on on election day. But as KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel shows us, not everyone thinks it's appropriate for the sheriffs to endorse a political issue. Well, Steve, Iowans will vote on the so-called Second Amendment bill on November 8th. Now, supporters now include many of Iowa's top law enforcement officers who say they have a right to speak out. Whenever one of my constituents loses a freedom, it's my fault. It's our job to speak out. Cedar County Sheriff Warren Wethington is one of six Iowa sheriffs officially endorsing what he calls the Freedom Amendment. It says in part, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed and is basically creating an Iowa gun rights amendment similar to the Second Amendment in the federal constitution. It needs to be in the Iowa constitution just simply for the fact that if you have your Second Amendment type uh, rights violated, the way it is now, you have to wait until you get time in a federal court. Um, it can be dealt with at a state level now. Brenna Bird will back the blue. Many Iowa sheriffs are also endorsing Brenna Bird for Iowa Attorney General. Those 74 sheriffs, they want a new Attorney General. But Iowa political science professor Dennis Goldford wonders about the ethics of law enforcement endorsements. The difficulty is that while people are entitled to their own opinion, uh, when people have certain authority over others, whether it's law enforcement, employers, professors, teachers, whatever, uh, they're in a position to make the people subordinate to that, uh, to that authority uh, uncomfortable at, at best. When I ran for office and was elected, I did not give up my First Amendment rights. Um, not only is it my right to speak my mind, but it's also my duty as an elected official who has a sworn oath to protect the Constitution. And only six Iowa sheriffs publicly endorsed the firearms amendment, but the Iowa Firearms Coalition says many more are also in support. Steve.